Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Welcome to my last scrapbooking process video of 2018. I wanted to eke one more in for you guys because I have a few announcements. This is a semi-double challenge. It's a challenge for the Scraptacular Cropping Club, which is essentially to do a double challenge with two of the challenges that we can pick whichever ones we wanted from this year. So we had 50, basically 50 to choose from. So I decided I would do the fringe challenge to incorporate fringe somehow as well as the map pattern challenge to incorporate a map print paper without it being travel themed. So that's what I'm going with. This is a really clean, simple, easy layout. You can recreate it super quickly and I used only 6x6 paper to make it. So if you're trying to get through some of your 6x6 paper pads, this is a good one to scrap lift. Um, but my announcements, so the first thing is I have some lighting equipment on the way to make the studio a little bit more professional so hopefully in the next year my videos will have a lot better quality right now they're really dark i really mostly scrapbook after work after it's already gotten dark so i'm hoping that these new lights will really help my videos be more enjoyable so i hope you guys will enjoy that i think at least the first three of this next year will have the old lighting I'm not quite sure when it's supposed to get here. Um, the second part is I have been invited to join Sarah Scraps and a bunch of other YouTubes on Sarah Scraps YouTube collaboration series called How to Kill a Kit with Style. So I am super excited to be able to participate about with that. So um, my first video goes up January 1st. I have it scheduled to release at midnight. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that series. <laughs> I'm really excited to do it. My first kit for January is going to be a Felicity Jane kit. So I am really, really excited to do that. So if that sounds interesting, then stay tuned. This part of this layout, I basically just cut one 6x6 paper pad and patched it up in all of the corners. And then I framed the photos with another piece and then cut a faux tag out of another one. And basically I decided that I would make, instead of a hole punch for the tag, I would just make a little embellishment to go where the hole would be. So I'm just die cutting a little heart in a circle to go there. I know I sped it up a lot too <laughs> and I've been talking through most of it, but I also did um, just fringe with my paper trimmer. I'm thinking about getting some fringing scissors. If anybody has a pair, if you'll just let me know how you like them, if you would recommend your brand and where I could find them. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I should get them or not, or if you find them worth it, or I should just stick to using my scissors and my trimmer. <laughs> But it went okay using it went okay using my my trimmer. I just feel like it took way longer than if I had fringing scissors. <laughs> but I liked doing that. It brought that polka dot into two separate areas. Um, that map print I'm about to pull in. It's that yellow pattern paper. So I'm just trying to mimic that top and bottom of the photo. Six by six pads are really good to fringe with because you can't really tell where you have to piece it together. So if you're really trying to get through six by six pads, fringing is a really easy way to burn through a lot of it. <laughs> I always like ruffling up my fringe. It really helps you see the dimension and the texture of it. <laughs> but now I'm just moving to that map print. I thought about putting a doily up there at the top, but I end up not, not doing that. I was really impressed with myself actually. I found the Scraptacular Cropping Club in September and they have a challenge a week for the entire year, so 52 challenges total, and I came in in September, so I was like really far behind. Not that I was too concerned with catching up backwards, I just really wanted to do everyone going forwards, which I did, but also like I caught up going backwards except for four challenges. There were only four challenges the whole year I didn't get to, so I thought that was pretty okay that I got to do that many of them and the ones that were left were ones that were really hard they I just didn't really have the equipment to do it like I could have figured it out I'm sure <laughs> um, but it was the Instax challenge I don't have an Instax camera so I didn't really have any Instax photos but I was going to try and like 
use photos I had and make them look in stacks, but I never really came across a photo that would have been able, you know, to be a good candidate for that. Um, I also did not get to do the bullseye challenge. That one looks super, super fun, but my nested dies only go up to six inches, so <laughs> um, I don't have a cameo or an electric die cutting machine to do a lot of big circles. <laughs> um, I didn't get to do... Um, there was one really cool design that was like an interactive page design where you did like like flippy flaps. I don't know the correct, the waterfall flips. I don't even know the correct term for that. I didn't get to do that one though. Um, my pages really aren't interactive. I do, really don't want people taking them out of the pages to play with them. <laughs> so I never got to do that one. And then uh, the last one was a challenge where you took two photos from separate time periods and scrapbooked them together. Because I'm a chronological scrapbooker, that, that really doesn't happen where I have two photos from separate times together. So those are the only four I didn't get to though. So I thought I did pretty good by catching up with everything I did get to do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going through with some green washi tape and I'm just adding a skinny little strip on those corners. I really feel like that helps define them more. Um, draw attention to those being corner pieces and not just a, a part of the paper. <laughs> and then I'm just going to do a little bit of journaling down here. I wanted it to mimic the tag in the upper left corner. So I'm just writing. This is just my nephew. He's smiling in his sleep because he's precious. So I'm just writing that down there really quick. <laughs> but this is the, the page. So here are the close-ups. I hope you guys had a wonderful 2018. And I will see you in 2019. Thanks for watching. Bye.